Dozens of cars lined up in Yonkers Saturday morning. The drivers inside, all victims of recent catalytic converter thefts. I was, you know, furious, upset. I need my car. Debbie McLaughlin told me she went to go shopping one Sunday. And I started the car and it sounded like an explosion went off. The omen of a stolen catalytic converter. Catalytic converters help dull engine noise the muffler misses. But more importantly, they reduce a car's pollution. When they're missing, the check engine light comes on and a car cannot pass emissions. Aside from being a nuisance and a hassle, it was very expensive. It was $2,600 to have it replaced. If you do not have comprehensive insurance, replacing the part with labor can cost you up to three grand. For the thieves, all it takes is 45 seconds to saw the pipes and make a couple hundred dollars from the stolen cat. We just wanted to make sure that our constituents know that we care about them, that we know that they've been hit. The Yonkers City Council Majority Leader, Tasha Diaz, and Mayor Mike Spano invited victims like Debbie to receive a free etching kit and installation in an effort to curb the rising crime. And there's a lot of victims. In New York City alone, catalytic converter thefts have almost quadrupled this year compared to last. And according to the Yonkers Police Department, there are more than 300 catalytic converter thefts in 2022, a 182% increase since last year. Catalytic converters are made with precious metals, including rhodium, palladium, platinum, gold, and silver. And thieves keep their eye on the market because when the value of those metals goes up, so do catalytic converter thefts. Etching a serial number into a converter won't solve the issue because you can just open the skin and take the metals. But law enforcement can track the part. And don't try to scratch out the number. That's a felony. In New Jersey, Legislators are considering bills that would criminalize possession and distribution of specialized tools used to boost cars and punish people who blow off guidelines for buying and selling converters. There's obviously much more that we need to do, but this is a good first start. Ashley Rodriguez, Fox 5 News.